You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I don't know how Charcoal Girls are allowed. I'm not a new... I'm white. I got you, huh? Um, illegally selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember. Give me your head. You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. All right, y'all. A high school basketball announcer in Oklahoma. Okay, this is the live stream. All right? Happened in the playoffs there in Oklahoma. Two teams. One of them decides to take a knee. This announcer was not too particularly happy. This is what was caught on a hot mic. Back here live after the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking niggers. If they're gonna kneel like that, I hope they lose. Video went viral. Folks picked up on it. This is what the oh, folks of Oklahoma released. This is their statement. Pull it up, please. Um, we were sickened by the comments. This is the NFHS network. It's actually, they were live streaming. We were sickened by the comments made last night at the start of the NFHS Network's broadcast of the OSSAA girls basketball game between Norman High School and Midwest City High School. The thoughts expressed in no way represent the NFHS Network, and we are outraged that they found their way into our production. The NFHS Network firmly condemns racism, hate, and discrimination, and there is no room for this in high school sports or anywhere. We sincerely apologize to the students, their families, and the entire community for having such ignorant comments expressed during the broadcast. We are aggressively investigating the incident and will ensure that any individuals responsible will have no relationship with the NFHS network moving forward. Well, that announcer released his own statement. Oh, my God, this is a doozy. Y'all, pull it up. Y'all, look at this here. I, Matt Rowan, on Thursday, March 11, 2021, most regrettably made some statements that cannot be taken back. During the Norman High School girls basketball game against Midwest City, I made inappropriate and racist comments, believing that the microphone was off. However, let me state immediately that is no excuse. Such comments should have never been uttered. Oh, my Lord, y'all, it gets better. I am a family man. I am married have two children, and at one time was a youth pastor, I continue to be a member of a Baptist church. I have not only embarrassed and disappointed myself, I have embarrassed and disappointed my family and my friends. Oh, y'all, it gets better. <laughs> I will state that I suffered type 1 diabetes. <laughs> and during the game, my sugar was spiking. 
while not excusing my remarks, it is not unusual when my sugar spikes that I become disoriented and often say things, y'all. Y'all think I'm lying. Y'all, this is exactly what he wrote. Often say things that are not appropriate as well as hurtful. I do not believe that I would have made such horrible statements absent my sugar spiking. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to come back and read this, but my, um, both of my grandmothers had diabetes. My, my, my dad has diabetes. My brother has diabetes. I think my mom has diabetes. I've never seen my daddy or my grandmothers or my brother or my mama go, ooh, my sugar spike. Nigga, 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 nigga. It's, ne it's, it's, it's never, it's, ne it's, it's never. It's never. It's never happened. Don't make me cry. It's never happened. Go, go back to the statement. I, I need to read the rest of it. During the time, during this time, I was with a colleague and friend, Scott uh, Sapulia. Sap uh, Sapulpo, whatever. Scott Sapulpo was not the one that made these comments. It was me and me alone. It is not my desire to shirk my responsibility in this matter, and I certainly do not want Scott uh, Sapulpo to share in the blame of this most unfortunate incident. While the comments I made would certainly seem to indicate that I am racist, it, y'all, y'all, he literally wrote. <laughs> While the comments I made would certainly seem to indicate that I am racist, I am not. I have never considered myself to be racist and, in short, cannot explain why I made these comments. Oh, my God. Oh. Is he a member of hashtag Team Sugar on Grits? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the statement, please. <laughs> I offer my most sincere apologies for the inappropriate comments made and hope that I can obtain forgiveness. I specifically apologize to the Norman High School girls basketball team, their families, their coaches, and their entire school system. Additionally, I offer my apologies to OSSAA and NFHS Network. Further apologize to all involved in the situation and simply to the entire sports community. There are no other words to explain what occurred. This is something for which I must take responsibility and I wholeheartedly accept responsibility for my words and actions. It is my sincere desire that I can obtain forgiveness for my actions and words. I have never in my life, Kieran, never in my life have I heard the diabetes defense for bigotry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Me either. I've never... I've never heard somebody say, if only I did not have my sugar spike, I would not have burned that cross in the front yard. <laughs> Ken, what say you? So my grandfather has diabetes, and I never heard him say nothing like this when his when his sugar spiked. So I... I I'm at a loss for words. I, I don't understand how you could blame diabetes. And he probably is Team Sugar on Grits. You should call Pastor Keen and have him sing to, to this man. Maybe that'll lift his spirit. I'm, I'm, you know what? I want y'all to play this again. And Brittany, <laughs> just let me know if you have a, the sense that this was sugar spiking. <laughs> Ken, what say you? So my grandfather has diabetes. Y'all, no, no, play, play, y'all, play the video, like y'all. When, <laughs> when his sugar spiked, so I, I play, play the video. I'm at a loss for words. I, I don't know. We will be I, right I back here we, live after the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. That's the king. You know what? I want y'all to play this again. Why am I hearing playback?
Brittany, I, I'm just, you know, uh, I hope, I hope Norman kicks their ass. I, I don't know what they're doing. Fucking nigga, what, didn't, didn't say, he sounded lucid. He sounded, I mean, I'm not quite understanding what was going on. Like, what, what was the deal? Exactly what is what he was saying. He had follow up commentary when he said, "I hope that the other team kicks their behind." He knew exactly what he was doing, and he is just reaching for every possible excuse um, to save his character. I mean, even the fact I am not normal, I ever considered myself a racist. I just regularly, you know, use racial epithets when I don't think anyone else um, publicly can hear me and there's not going to be any repercussions. This man has lost his absolute, absolute mind. And quite frankly, um, the, the response by the NFHS is concerning too. We don't know how they found their way into our network. Are you doing anything um, to prevent these type of individuals to um, hold the positions that they do um, over the whole situation? Michael? Uh, <laughs> Roland, um, he, he, I, I don't think he suffers from diabetes. I think he su suffers from liabetes. That's what he suffers from, liabetes, because he's lying. Uh, well, first of all, Roland, uh, it, I think this is FCC regulated the the, the broadcast. They're broadcasting the games. I think that's. I think it's probably FCC regulated. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it was oh. a live stream. The FCC. It was a live stream. The, the FCC only regulates uh, over the air broadcast. We have to have oh, a license. over the air. Okay. FCC, okay. like for instance, FCC doesn't li doesn't doesn't license cable network. Uh, right. They they don't license this show. These are these right. none of these go under FCC. Um, um, go under the FCC okay. at all. Well, I was just wondering because I, you know, my radio show is is on the FCC regulated station. When you yeah, the, that, that that's a terrestrial you, radio station that right, requires an FCC when, license to broadcast. Right, I understand. Now follow me where I'm going though. And when you used to do your show, when I used to guest host, you were FCC regulated. But even though this isn't, uh, if if he has a history of having low sugar and and prone to say anything, why is he on the air in the first place? If, if, if he has a history of saying that, because he said sometimes when my sugar goes low, I'll say things, you know, I'll say things that are crazy. But the, the other thing is, is uh, this kind of reminds me of the whole Don Imus, Nappy Hater H's thing. And Don Imus said that on the air and, and got eventually taken off the air. But um, do, were all the team members that took a knee black? Weren't there some white team members? Oh, uh, could be. Okay, I'm just I'm just wondering why he ain't called them uh, a racial epithet for white people, just just black people because the white people took a knee possibly as well. But you know, w once again, th this goes back to um, see, I call it the white national anthem. People call it the Star Spangled Banner. I call it the white national anthem because it was read by Francis Scott Key, September 14th, 1814. He was a white supremacist slave owner who thought African people were mentally inferior. So. Um, yeah. Okay. I think he has liabilities, you know, and, uh, I, I would, I would I, personally, I want to have a conversation with Matt Rowan or Rowan. You know, I want to ask him, why do you take such offense at people taking a knee to protest against police brutality and racism? They're not protesting against the Star Spangled <laughs> Banner. Just like, just like Rosa Parks didn't, didn't sit on the bus to protest against the bus. She was protesting against segregation. So why, why are you so offended by that? I, I, but look, Y'all, I, I I done heard a whole lot. I ain't never heard my diabetes and sugar spike uh, made me say uh, 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 them niggas. I I just I never I, that's never happened. I'm just like y'all, come on, just stop it. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin uncultured video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans 
distributing 50 bucks each for the whole year, you can make this possible. Roland Martin, unfiltered.com.